everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do a tour of Campbell's nursery Campbell's nursery so far and it's pretty much done but y'all know how I am and we're only halfway there so when you're watching this video I am 20 weeks so halfway there y'all know I will end up changing something or moving something or adding something most likely but for now the nursery is finished so I wanted to show y'all like how it has all come together I'll start over here with the crib and if y'all have been a part of my channel since we moved into this house this was a guest room and when we first moved in this wall was lime green I don't know why but I covered it with some black and white wallpaper and had a little vanity right here. I used this wallpaper from Etsy for the nursery and I just love how this room has come together. It was, this wall was lime green and then all the other walls were gray. So I wanted to do the same white color that we have used on everything that we've painted in the new house. This is the color that's in our bedroom the family room, one of the bathrooms downstairs, actually both bathrooms downstairs, and then our bathroom. So I really love, it's called Pure Ultra White from Lowe's. I think it's the Valspar brand, but love this color. And then I loved this wallpaper. I wanted to do like kind of boho, safari, Jungle. I wanted to do animals, but I wanted to do like real animals, if you know what I mean. Like I didn't want it to be really like fake and cartoony. So I fell in love with this wallpaper and I'm using a lot of these little pottery animals from Peter's and McCarty's Pottery in the Mississippi Delta. I said I was going to start with the crib, but I guess I will start over here since I reminded y'all that this wall used to be lime green. So this wallpaper is from Etsy, and then I also, her little name, her wooden name is from Etsy, and I ordered it just plain, like a plain wood, and I spray painted it gold. Her crib has gold on it, so I just wanted to add some more like gold stuff throughout the room. I just have some little decor over here. That's her little wooden name thing that we'll take to the hospital it's from Caden Lane I think and then just lots of like greenery and faux plants and pompous I really wanted that kind of boho jungle feel this was my little book when I was little and then I recently my mother-in-law got the Peter's Pottery Kitten to go there with it. Right here I just have like a little mirrored tray from Home Goods with a little sea candle from Marshalls and then I've just got like this little Peter's Pottery lamb. I got that for Christmas. I, um, we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl yet when I bought that but I just wanted to buy that because I was planning on doing like animals whether we had a boy or a girl and then just of course using a different accent color other than blush. I've got her little jewelry right here on this tray. Some of this jewelry I wore home from the hospital. Some of it like my mom and Ethan's mom have purchased. 
I just thought it would be cute to put her little like jewelry right there. I will have a changing table pad right here in this spot. That's like one of the things we don't have yet. So all the decor is complete, but I'm putting things like the changing table pad and other necessities on my registry for my baby shower. So I will have that. I'm gonna do like another updated tour like right before she gets here so I can show you like how I've organized her dresser how I've got it set up on top for like a changing station and all that good stuff. But right now the drawers are empty. We just got her dresser in over the weekend. It is from Room to Room Furniture in Tupelo. And the brand is Lane. It actually matches the bed that we have downstairs in the guest room. So when Campbell's ready for like a big girl room, she can use this dresser and the big bed that's down in the guest room and it'll match perfectly. Lily absolutely loves this room. I think that she thinks it's for her. <laughs> but while I'm showing a good shot of the rug, I fell in love with this. I wanted something neutral, but I also wanted a little bit of pink in it. And y'all know how I am about animal print. If you've seen any room in my home, especially since I was using animals a lot in her room. So I loved this rug. It is from the Home Depot website and I wanted it to cover most of the floor in her room and then just have a little bit of the hardwood showing. So this room is pretty small. It's the smallest bedroom in our house and I think it's just the perfect size for a nursery but this is an eight by 10. And then I wanted to layer like a faux fur rug in front of the fireplace and I got this one at Home Goods. of these books were mine when I was little. Some of them were even like my parents' books. So like some of these you can tell that they are like very worn. So I absolutely love having stuff like that in the nursery. I, I try to use like old things or things that belong to our parents, our grandparents, different things like that all throughout our house. I really like to just use special stuff like that. Purchased new books, especially like the ones that are displayed on the other side of the room. I just, as soon as we moved in and I saw these built-ins and this room like we've been calling it the nursery since we moved in even though we weren't trying for a baby yet we just knew this room was the nursery so I actually had some of my books from when I was a kid in these built-ins already and people would come over and be like why do you have children's books in the built-ins in your guest room. And I said, well, when my parents sold their house, they were all in the attic. And instead of putting them like in our basement or in our shop until we had a kid, I knew it wouldn't be long until we wanted one. So I just went ahead and put the books up here. <laughs> and then just a few months later, we ended up getting pregnant, but I did color code them. So like I've got pink and white. Some of these are new, some of them were mine. Then I went to like blue and green. These are all of the little 
golden little golden book books I love those there's her baby book and then there's like the really old ones and then like yellows and then of course more pottery animals I think most of the ones over here are from Peter's Pottery and then this down here I just threw that decor under there stuff I already had around the house that would probably change I think this is a great spot to put like a little basket like a little hamper for her clothes so that's probably what will go in that cutout maybe like her diaper Jenny stuff like that I'm putting on the registry so coming over from the built-ins there is Lily trying to get her doll um Lily that's not yours Lily that's not yours that's sisters that's sisters doll that's for Campbell okay <laughs> we have had a little bit of trouble Lily thinks this giraffe is hers so it's cute decor I like using giraffes because there are giraffes in her wallpaper but that will probably end up being Lily's toy <laughs> and just being for looks instead of Campbell playing with it she just doesn't understand that these are not all her toys so in this little corner this rocking chair was Ethan's when he was little I love that I love that I'm getting to use stuff like that with our kids stuff that our moms saved from when we were little and Ethan's mom painted it white to match her nursery and then Ethan's mom also got that little doll for her that Lily thinks is for her Coming over to the crib I fell in love look at this um Lily 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 that's not yours And I ended up ordering this crib I had it in my cart before we knew whether we were having a girl or a boy my best friends has this crib for her little boy so I definitely think it's gender neutral and if we do end up having a boy next time we get pregnant I will definitely reuse this crib but I just fell in love with it. I wanted something with like the fabric on each end and I love the gold. So the brand is Little Seeds and it's from Wayfair. They have it in a couple of different finishes. I think you can get it in black maybe. I know you can get it in gray. What? You're disrupting my video. You're disrupting mama's video but I wanted it in gold they have it on the Walmart website and on Wayfair Walmart and Wayfair were sold out of the gold one before Christmas Wayfair restocked the gold right after Christmas and they were having a sale so I went ahead and ordered it and we had just found out we were having a girl so that just really helped me make the decision and go with the gold instead of the gray you have got to be kidding me so i was able to order the exact one that i wanted and it was on sale on the wayfair website 
and Lily is distracting me so I can't remember if I said this or not but the brand is Little Seeds so you can probably find it in several different places but that's the name brand and then my mom ordered these bows and this long skirt from Etsy and then I got the canopy from Amazon I really just wanted to keep things neutral I love using white and cream together so I went with like a cream curtain and a cream canopy but the walls are white and then I went with a white bed skirt and white bedding and then there's a cream pillow in there of course when she gets here all of this stuff will be cleared out of the crib but for now I needed some kind of decor in there is the little Feltman Brothers outfit that we are planning to bring her home from the hospital in. This is what I wore home from the hospital. So once again, I just love using like things that were ours or even our parents stuff for Campbell. I found this really long ruffled pillow at a local antique store and that like fit into the crib perfectly perfect color everything I am planning on getting her initials put in the middle of the pillow and then I found these blush with gold trim pillows at home goods in a pack of two so i've got one in her crib and one over in the corner where her chair is and then i fell in love with this bunny at marshall's but it had kind of an ugly bow around the neck so i cut that off and just put a pink satin bow and i just finished her little basket wall over the weekend we were waiting for the basket wall and her dresser before I filmed this video and we finished up both of those over the weekend. Landry helped me do this. Um, the animals are from Hobby Lobby. The tobacco basket at the top is from Walmart. And then the rest is from Home Goods. I do plan on adding more to this. I want to get some really small, like almost like pot holders or coaster size in these different textures and place some smaller ones like throughout. But that's how that has come together and I'm really happy with it for now. Ethan's mom found this little blush love seat at Hobby Lobby and I did not know where I was going to put it exactly. We did have her armoire in here and ended up moving it into the hallway. So right there in the hallway is where all of her like clothing is. We were able to free up some space for this little love seat. Lily loves to lay on this and look into the crib and she's not even here yet. So I think Lily will really enjoy that spot like watching Campbell until Campbell's old enough to actually sit on it and then just some more little blankets and stuffed animal right there this little table was in our living room and I ended up moving it up here and putting a different little table in the living room it's also from room to room in Tupelo and then I just have some different like book decor plants. I've got this little feather lamp from Hobby Lobby right there. So although I knew Campbell had a bunch of built-ins where I could put books, I love the look of these acrylic bookshelves like on the wall just so I can have some books right here by the chair. I also just think it's really cute to display them, especially since I've gotten a lot of like special books and like animal books that I wanted to display with all of her decor. Acrylic 
like shelves are from Amazon. So my mom found the picture that is over the mantle. I absolutely love that bull picture and I've been wanting one for my house but I didn't know where to put it. And when she found one with the bull blowing the pink bubble, she had to get it. So that's one of the first things that we had for Campbell's Nursery. And then Ethan's mom came across this one that had the giraffe on it. And she picked that up to kind of match the theme we had going on and the other picture. So they're both from Hobby Lobby and I just love how they look in here. This is the bull one that my mom got. As I mentioned I went with like a cream colored curtain. I fell in love with some curtains that had the bows at the top on the Pottery Barn Kids website but they were like $200 per panel. I just could not justify spending that for three windows, which is what she has in her nursery. There's so many windows in here. Um, so I found these on Amazon. They were way more affordable and they still had that same look that I was going for with the bows at the top. So I love those. I think they had several colors on Amazon. Her little chair, I just wanted something that was comfortable, something that rocked, something that was neutral. And Ethan's aunt had actually purchased this like right before Christmas and wasn't really using it. So she gifted it to us. So it matches perfectly in here. So thankful for that. And then I found the most perfect little footstool at Home Goods. It's that blush color that I've used throughout the nursery, and I loved all the fringe. And this is just a little blanket ladder with some of her little blankets on there. My mom ordered this little rocking horse. I'm not sure where she purchased that, but I just wanted some kind of little rocking animal of some sort in front of the fireplace. I wanted a hanging plant on her mantle and I also want to mention I purchased this mantle from an antique store. We already had like this kind of fireplace surround but there was no actual mantle. So we also had a cover on this fireplace. I took the cover off to expose the brick and then added a mantle and I've just decorated it with some pottery mostly and some candlesticks that I found at an antique store. Kind of talked through the entire nursery. It is a really small space but I wanted to go in depth and kind of talk about what I chose, where I got some things, some stuff like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this first look at Campbell's completed nursery. Let me know what y'all think below. Leave this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe because I will share more nursery content as I start like putting things into her dresser and organizing and then I will share a tour like right before she gets here so you can see like the actual finished product. <laughs> I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.